uh, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, here in this session, uh, I'll just explain how to edit the existing server or create uh, any additional server. The reason behind is uh, that whoever people are there, even my students and including other people also because multiple people have taken SAP server access from my side. So what happened like, let's suppose sometime if the server details are changed, then the people are confused how to change it. So they, they want to like look at here. I'll just show you here. Okay. So if I'm going to log in, like double click. So here what happened guys, if you're double clicking on, the, if you double click here, then uh, look at here, this connectivity error is going to appear in the sense like, why? So look at here, system is saying that partner, partner, this one is not reached, right? So sometime it happens, like let's suppose if the internet connectivity is pretty poor or from your side, if the connectivity is not good, sometime it happens because SAP server is down. But generally what happened if, and even the other reason is like, let's suppose if, if the SAP server, whatever the server application ID is there, if that itself is changed, right? So in that case also, if it is changed, then I inform every user, whoever the handgates are there, yeah, including my students or other people also. I, inv I, I inform everybody, I send email, so through email or just WhatsApp and all. But still, uh, there are lots of people who is unable to see the email and they are not able to change this, uh, what do you say, uh, server details and all. And uh, in that case, they face these issues. And if I say that you have to change, then they, uh, the first question comes like how to change. It's pretty simple guys, look at here. This is a different server, this is a different server, this is a different server. So you'll be having either one or two server access because I give a backup server also. So let's suppose two server will be there. So whichever required to be changed, let's suppose this is supposed to be changed. You just click here and then click on this edit button. So now look at here, these details came. Simply you're going to change how to change it. So anyway, the details is going to be shared, let's suppose, the current server. This is the details. Instance number 39, system ID NPS. So here you have to put this. And make sure that whenever you copy, there should not be like, look at here, that there should not be any space. Space should not be copied. Okay, so else if you copy the space, then there will be. So here I'm going to paste it, 39 here, NPS. That's it. Make it okay. Now it is going to work fine. Look at here. It is. It is going to be okay. Now look at here. Right now, and uh, another one is there is one more thing. Since I provide dual server access, right? So one you have created, now the next one is like how to create the additional one in the second one. So it's pretty simple guys, multiple can be created. Here this is the one, two, three, four. Apart from this, if you want to create any additional, click on create button. And again, you can enter the details here next. Then here you can enter the details and then next, next twice. And then you can keep on finish. You need to give all the details which is shared by me. So those details you can give. So this is how like it was SAP 1 and SAP 2, right? One you can keep as a main server, second one you can keep as a backup server. You can keep anyone as a main server, anyone as a backup server. It sits exclusively like I only provide this uh, dual server access and all to my students. The reason behind is like uh, because uh, SAP server, if sometime it is down, then what will happen? The candidates will have to wait for the practice and all, right? So in that case, I have taken these two server access and that I'm going to provide. So anyway, so this is how you can edit and this is how if you want to, uh, if you have to create another server and all, you can click here and you can create second, third, fourth, whatever you need that can be created. So this is how you can change your server. Uh, when you receive a message from my side, right? You can change your server uh, details and all. And uh, since I'm giving the, uh, what is a backup server also. So, the first you have set up and second one again, second time you have to click on create button and then you can do the same setting again. This is how it is going to happen.